Good morning, everybody. Oh boy, hello, hello. It is Tuesday morning. I'm just coming off the best weekend. Landed in New York City from LAX last night at 9.30. I was at Stagecoach Festival this past weekend. It's at the same grounds as Coachella, same company, everything, but it's all country. So much fun, I went with some of my amazing friends, so go check out my Stagecoach vlog if you haven't already. Then, I landed last night, I rushed home, I'm talking rushed home, showered, did my makeup and hair super quick, and went to the Laquan Smith Met Gala after party. <laughs> Who would have thought? I literally was freaking out when I got the invitation. Brooke came as my lovely date. It was so cool, it was so cool. And thankfully, I was on West Coast time, so like, the party started at 11, it went from 11 to 3 a.m. And Brooke and I were like, oh, we will not stay till 3 a.m. Like, don't worry, like, we'll just be in and out. And we stayed till 2.58 a.m. Ah, who is she? I'm so proud. And I literally posted on my Instagram story, like, guys, I'm so proud. Who is this, Danny? Everyone's like, you're on West Coast time. And I was like, that makes sense. But it was really, really fun, needless to say. I slept in a little bit today. Um, the next few weeks and the past few weeks have been very busy. I have my best friend Delaney coming this weekend. She's coming Thursday to Sunday. Sunday's Mother's Day. She leaves. As she's leaving for the airport, my mom is arriving from the airport. She's going to be here for a few days. So I've got a lot ahead and a lot of like work stuff that I'm doing today and tomorrow and prepping. I need to clean my sheets or change my sheets, should I say, and just doing lots of stuff. So right now, I'm catching up on emails. I'm watching the Met Gala red carpet right now because I've already seen all the looks, but I didn't have a chance to watch it on the plane. So I'm like watching it right now as I just respond to emails. Drinking out of our don't text mug. If you guys don't know, we released these about a week ago. <laughs> hey. And uh, I love this mug so much. It's like bigger than an average mug. Don't text galsinthego.com or no, galsinthegopodcast.com to shop all of our don't text merch. So anyways, um, I'm gonna be taking you guys along a little week in my life. You guys know the drill. Um, I just put on this loops face mask. My skin was just needing some rejuvenation. And yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of done. Then we're headed to the Gals on the Go studio to, res um, to I can't speak, <laughs> to record this week's episode, um, which is gonna be really good. We're talking about how we handle business and friendship and we are like going through every single thing, just being real about our experience and what has worked for us. So if you don't listen to my podcast already with Brooke, go listen, Gals on the Go podcast. And yeah, anyways, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for constantly supporting me every single day because because of you guys is the reason I get to do what I do and live in New York City and live my dream. So thank you guys and I never, ever, ever forget that. Anyways, I'm gonna get my life together and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Good morning, Finley. Finley, I miss you. Yeah. Finley, oh my God, best surprise ever. Hi, baby. Oh, he looks so cute right now. I mean, oh, oh, he has his new collar on, right? Oh, of course. Go dogs. Unboxing some PR right now. I'm so proud of my friend Meredith. She just came out with a line with Morphe, and it's called Making You Blush. I'm so excited to try out all these blushy products and these brushes. Very excited. Also wanted to note, um, I'm like hoping this is becoming a thing with Ryan now. I got back from my trip, he did this one other time, and there were flowers on my table, I literally cried. Very cute, interesting choice of him. <laughs> like, I love these flowers so much, I just die because, like, it's just like, so cute, you know? Um, and I guess, like, did he do that? Put, like, food coloring in the I don't really know what's happening here, but very, very, very sweet, thank you, Ryan. I still haven't even seen him yet since I got back. Um, and last thing, just lots of things I wanted to talk about on this table. This bag. Oh my gosh, I will link it below. I literally got it on Amazon, and I am shook to the core about it. It looks like the Colt Gaia one, and it came in a set with like earrings, literally the earrings I wore last night. So it was kind of perfect. All right, we got a lot done. It is now time to shower. I haven't unpacked, obviously, but I this is what I brought as my like toiletry bag to Palm Springs. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It fits so much. It's from Stony Clover. You guys already know my obsession with Stony Clover. I do not have much time to get ready, and I did that to myself, so that's my fault. But we are going to shower. I literally can't wait to shower, do my makeup, fix my hair. Just get recording ready. I don't really know what I'm wearing, but the beautiful thing about recording the podcast on video 
you only see up top, so we'll figure it out. Ugh, I forgot how much I missed my apartment. It's so nice traveling and then coming back. Just the vibes curated in here are amazing. Just got out of the shower. Brooklyn and towels, too. <laughs> Um, I'm burning this talk that I cannot speak today burning this candle from the coop. It's called pillow talk This one's saffron amber and vanilla. I love the coop candles so much small biz We love them so much New York based all their I'm just obsessed. So that's what I'm burning right now I placed an order on press juicery. It just came. I'm very happy about it Got four green juices. I got two of the greens twos and then two of the greens threes and then Six ginger shots because, I mean, duh. <laughs> All right, we are ready to record. I somehow rose from the dead. I literally just washed my hair yesterday. I feel like it's like greasy already. Love that for me. I just threw a wand in, just threw it away. Just threw a wand, I didn't use my hair up. My outfit is literally so random, but like it makes me really happy. Um, this is my recording outfit. <laughs> You guys are like, what's happening? I love some multicolor fits right now. I love pink and orange together. I'm wearing this sweatshirt that says positive energy. And then I got these orange little cargo pants that I'm obsessed with and some sneaks. The gals in the go tote. Also, when I get back, I need to do a nasty gal haul for you guys because I got some fire flame outfits that I can't wait to show you guys. I just thought about that. But um, yeah, let's go record um, our podcast. Just got to the office and I forgot to mention earlier that the coop also surprised us and made a special made by the coop coop for gals on the go with love. She made us a special scent. I want to know what it is though. Like usually it says like what the scent is. You should text her. I know I need to ask her. It's so lovely. I think there's like some sandalwood in there, maybe some amber. So I don't even know if we can like candles in here, but we'll just keep it there for scent purposes. I'm here with yeah. Brooke. Hi. Wait, that reminds me of when I was growing up, I never could burn candles in my room, but I would like get all the Bath and Body Works ones. Wait, really? I wasn't allowed to. My parents, like my mom would like convince me. She'd be like, eh, they smell enough anyways. And they totally do they, not. Really? I do. I, well, I don't they know, smell, but I could they see. They like, smell up a room the way like a lit candle. Yeah. Does. They still smell, but you know what I mean. No, so that's I'm really funny. Like, She's like, you could still buy them and they'll just, I don't know. That's what I'm like hoping that next time we walk in, yeah. it'll smell good in here. So <laughs> we're at the office. We're about to record this week's episode that I was telling you guys about earlier, handling business and friendship. Oh, whoa. Crazy stuff. Um, so we'll check in with you guys after. Guess who's back? Back again. Guys, the episode was so good. So this happens to us sometimes where we get on tangents, then we talk about a few different topics, and the episode turns into an hour, and we haven't even gotten to like the meat of the episode. But we were both like, it was like an hour 15, I don't know, hour and 10, and we were like, okay, this episode is so solid. If we just like threw in our tips at the end, like because we would be so rushed to finish the episode in under two hours, I'm opening my blind, sorry. It like wouldn't be the same. And like we want to do a whole episode on it. So we're gonna do the handling business and friendship next week or the week after because we like literally have a whole thing written out about it. But that's just kind of the best part. We like went on a whole deep dive on like amusement parks and it was very, very fun. We talked about body insecurities and confidence, comments, stuff like that. I think you guys are really gonna like this episode, so it's definitely up by the time you guys saw it. I have a lot to do. I have a lot of stuff everywhere I have to unpack at some point. I wanna clean my sheets. I have to put this stuff away. I ordered food because I haven't gotten groceries yet. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Like, post-travel reset day. So, I'm gonna eat. I ordered, I'm actually starving. I also need to send these clips to our producer and our editor, Jordan, shout out. I'm gonna do that, I need to eat. I ordered from this place called Cafe Habana. Um, that's, I think that's on Elizabeth Street, like in Nolita, and it looks so good. I used to get this in high school all the time. Not Cafe Habana, but like this food. Oh, oh my gosh, it's like so hot, it's kind of melting. Rice, beans, and pork. Literally so excited to eat this and I passed by and I was like, this is so my vibe So that's tonight's dinner. I also would love to have green beans with that, but you can't have it all So yeah, I'm going to eat all of these clips kind of just like recharge my social battery a little bit even though Kind of doing well after recording an episode usually I'm like super dead, but it was just such a good episode and I'm feeling Very good about it Anyway, you guys are done with me. Um <laughs> I'm going to eat my food and I'll talk to you guys in a little. It's sheet washing day. 
The only thing about spray tanning and self tanning is, oh my gosh, it just gets <laughs> on the sheets. But my Brooklyn and sheets literally never fail me. They wash amazingly. I literally love these so much. Like this will be gone, which is crazy to think about, but we love it. So I'm gonna clean my sheets, get my life together. I just noted that Ryan's must have come here over the weekend and done his laundry, which I told him he could. Um, but that little stinker hasn't come to fold it and get it, so I'll have to fix that. But yeah, um, I showed it my last vlog. I got so many different laundry detergents and I am obsessed. Um, I just love the laundress, but I'm gonna use Glamorous Wash. I just like my laundry to smell good and these are just amazing. This I've been using this on my active wear. <gasps> my stuff smells so good. Like it just has a little bit extra of a good scent and I think for active wear and like, you know, sport underwear and stuff, such a vibe. But we're gonna use Glamorous, Glamorous Wash. Oh my, how am I already almost out? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got in the mail from Nasty Gal. I have a couple of outfits that I put together for some upcoming like events I have, stuff I'm doing that I wanna wear these outfits to, so I'm really pumped. Um, I actually do have a discount code, so thank you Nasty Gal. The code's Danielle, and I'll have it on the screen too for you guys to use it. Links below, obviously you guys know the drill. This is the first outfit, it's very me. I love it, I love a little tiny crop top with some high-waisted pants. So this is just like a brown cutout long sleeve. It's a great transition piece from spring, or um, from winter to spring. I love this top so much. I think it's so flattering, I love the cutout. It's like the perfect amount of crop in my opinion. It's all one, it's not like you put on this and then this, it's all one. These are the pants that I paired this top with. I thought they were so fun. A little faux leather pant moment. They're just like this really pretty beige color. And I'm gonna wear this with um, heels um, for dinner with friends this weekend. I just think, I think this outfit makes sense, you know? It's just, I just feel good in it. I feel confident, I feel good, and that's the most important part to me. So, yeah, it's the first fit. This is the second outfit. It is so me. I absolutely love this outfit. I've been looking for a good blazer dress that's not too short because when they're too short, I just don't end up wearing them because I don't feel comfortable. This one is like the perfect length, um, love it. So, whole outfit's from Nasty Gal, of course. It's just this little white blazer dress. I think this would be so cute with just any sort of tall boot or like I'd love to see what these look like. Like especially as it gets closer to the summer, some nude heels, I think that'd be really, really fun. Um, or like could even belt this a little bit. These shoes, can we take a moment? Obsessed, you guys know how obsessed I am with green in general, um, but I love how these aren't very tall. These are very workable, very livable. I can walk the city in them, no problem. They are literally so comfy, um, but I thought it went really well with the little white blazer dress, a white a green bag. This is the second fit. Ooh. This outfit is giving pajamas in the best way. I love this set from Nasty Gal. It's just like a light blue design on it long sleeve and then here are the pants. I would definitely dress this up a lot um, with heels and then like a little bag, probably like a sleek bun, some gold jewelry. Another thing I thought about doing, which honestly might be the vibe since this is like, you know, very loungy, wear a, like a white tank top underneath and wear this unbuttoned or like a little bra top. That would be really, really cute. Like a, a blue to match this bra top unbuttoned love um but yeah i haven't really had a set like this uh, actually i actually have one other that's all black that's my friend designed that's amazing um but yeah i really really like this doubt me but i'm gonna dress it up and make it super cute you just watch it also needs to be ironed <laughs> i guess i'm just in a little western vibe lately um i saw this shirt and i just simply had to have it this is so fun for spring and summer just a white typical tank i wear these all the time but it's got a little orange cowboy boot. Like, you have to admit that's so cute. Like, this with denim shorts as it gets warmer, such a vibe. But I found these straight leg jeans off of Nasty Gal. You guys know, I got a bigger booty and thighs, so when I find jeans that are actually baggy on me and like actually just go straight down, I get very excited. So props to you, Nasty Gal. These are some great fitting jeans. I wear a size six, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, I just love this little outfit with some sneaks, you know? A little fun vibe. 
love how high waisted. I love the seams on either side. Super flattering, a nice little lengthening effect in my opinion. But yeah, I just love this tank top and you will not see the end of this tank top because it is so cute. And the final outfit, sorry, you can kind of see my underwear. You know, whatever. Um, this dress. I love it so much. It's so cute. A little fun little white cowl neck. And then the shoes. This is just screaming like dinner after being at the beach all day. Like after you shower. Oh my gosh, the best feeling. Like I feel like this is an outfit I would put on to, I don't know, to do that. <laughs> Um, but honestly, what really stole the show were these shoes. When I saw these on Nasty Gal, I actually just fell over because I need, like, they are so comfortable. Like, the platform on these things, do you see that? Love the wrap-up. They're super flattering. They're really lengthening for your legs, for us short gals. Um, so yeah. The more I look at this outfit, I'm not sure if I like the two things together, but I like them a lot individually. So, that is where I will leave you guys with that. So thank you Nasty Gal for sponsoring this video. I'll have a link down below for you guys to check out. You can also use my code Danielle. And yeah, I'm going to put these clothes away because I need to be better about just not throwing clothes on the floor after I try them on and stuff. <laughs> um, put them back in my closet because it's quite organized right now. And then um, I think Ryan's gonna come over for a little bit. We finished Dropout finally because we like watch certain shows together. I think tonight, I hopefully, we're gonna start We Crashed, which is about We Work. So, very excited. And I think Anne Hathaway's in it, which I'm really pumped about. Anyways, I'm gonna wash my face, take off my makeup, get comfy. My apartment is a little bit cleaner now. I simply haven't unpacked yet, but that takes two to three business days. I mean, maybe I will tonight, depending on, but we're not so sure. Ryan's here. It's been so long. Literally, haven't it's been a week. Yep, it's been a while. Or six days. Um, he's cooking himself some chicken Caesar salad. Wow, the way you cut the chicken and everything looks like a Caesar salad. Thank you. And he goes, so how much lettuce do you want? I already ate, but it was very sweet of you. Because if you guys know, I like to eat lettuce plain sometimes. Oh, he's just making himself a whole little situation. You bring me a gift? Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> For me? Dressing? Oh, you brought like Parmesan. Yeah, I got it in bulk, so. Or, I mean, not in bulk, in but bulk? I, got a, I got a bunch of this, so. I figured I gotta use it all now. Yeah, no, that's exciting. You really. This is a true Caesar salad. I'm very impressed. My flowers are very pretty. You see the water? Did you do that? How it gets. I, that is the first time I've seen that. I mean, you did this, right? Yeah, you didn't hire somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is very pretty. Thank you. Very proud of you. <laughs> this is my meal. He did give me a little bit, and I was like, "Why did you give me all the dark green stuff? It doesn't taste as good." He's like, "It's healthier. I gave you the good stuff. Shoot." I guess you were trying to be nice, but it's not as tasty as the white lettuce. Oh well. Ryan just left. We watched the first episode of We Crashed. Definitely into it. My sheets are finally done and I'm starting to make my bed and I was like, I just need to document this because how pleasing is this? I started folding or making my bed like this since last fall when Sierra, my interior designer, showed me. So I used to always like pull my comforter all the way under my pillows, pillows on top, and then the throw pillows, but this is such a luxurious little moment. Like I always would do my pillows up and angled, but then if you pile them on top of each other, it's such a vibe. And then also folding the sheets and your comforter back. You guys are like, what the heck? But I'm telling you, a big moment. And then I weirdly do put my throw pillows back because I love waking up in the morning and if like my throw pillows are both perfectly on this side, then I know I slept well, or like I didn't toss and turn, you know what I mean? So, yay. I'm gonna hit the haystack. I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face. Tomorrow morning we have a workout, lots of work to do, and then seeing some pals tomorrow night. So, yeah, see you guys in the morning, night. Oh wait, I realize I get to start a new book tonight. I finished Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo finally. This past weekend, but it takes me forever to get through books because I like read a couple pages and then I literally fall asleep every night. But on trips, I finish books because I'll read them on the plane or like by the pool. So 
I'm really excited, so I need to figure out what I am starting tonight. I wish I could like ask you guys and you could like answer right now. <laughs> Anyways, that's my problem. I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> guys it's Wednesday morning it's gloomy outside it's raining I just want to cozy up and you know and I have had my morning of course which I'm thankful for every year after the Met Gala I look forward to Vogue posting all their videos like Olivia Rodrigo gets ready for the Met Gala or like Lala Anthony interviews Nicki Minaj or just stuff like that like I am so here for I just love the way Vogue produces all of their YouTube content um, so I've just been sitting here you know, ice rolling and watching, and I realized what time it is. I just had some toast. I have a workout, um, which I always love going to, but today I'm just a little, little sleepy and not in the mood. Usually I'm in the mood, but it always like puts me in a better mood after I go work out. I love my trainer, Jane. I started working out with her in February or March. I can't remember. I think February. And it's the best thing I ever did. It's really just brought my confidence back. I now work out with her three times a week, but sometimes not because Fridays are always messy with traveling. So this week, I'm just working out with her today and tomorrow actually, because, um, because, um, yeah, I'm just tired and I don't feel like getting up, but I need to, I need to get up. Today is my last day alone in my apartment for about, for a week actually. Um, so I'm really trying to enjoy it and get a ton done. I'm always trying to get a ton done. I feel like that's my thing. I'm just trying to get everything done. I uploaded a video this morning, which I was really excited about. Um, and yeah, I need to unpack. Like I truly need to unpack. I have stuff in my aisle entryway. Um, when I have guests, I really just like to, oh, oh, I didn't do it. I was gonna Instacart groceries. I'll do that later when I get back. No problem because Delaney comes tomorrow and she likes a certain kind of coffee creamer that I know um, like she will only use French vanilla so I always like surprise her and have it and she's like oh my god you shouldn't have. Um, and then like little snacks. I know we're going to be eating out a lot while she's here. I'm just vlogging so I don't have to get out the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's figure out a workout outfit. Let's do all the things. All right, what am I feeling today? Been able to keep this pretty organized. I hope I can continue to keep it like this. It's a gloomy day, which doesn't really mean anything for my workout attire, I guess. I think I'm just gonna go for my go-to. I literally love this workout outfit so much. It's from the brand Story. It's just, uh, you know, comfy. It's just this gray top and then this or gray bottoms and the same color top it's just a flattering fit it's like nice and high-waisted leggings my first workout after travel is always tough because like i haven't worked out since last wednesday which you would think oh it's not that bad but like it's not bad at all to not have worked out in a week but my body like has to get back used to it and like my stamina goes down so that's that so that's gonna be fun to work out after a week of Stagecoach and all that. All right, she's up. She washed her face. She put on some moisturizer, pulled the hair back. Actually, feeling pretty good. Pretty <laughs> rock on. Pretty ready right now. Thought we were done with puffers, but it's pretty chilly outside and it's a little dreary. So I thought I'd wear a little puffer that has a hood. Um, this is the set on. Got my sneaks. A little tote bag. I'm Ubering to work out today. Sorry, judge me. I am just running behind. So if we have to Uber. It's like a 30 minute walk, which I really enjoy. But we just simply didn't have time for that today. Treat yourself to a little Uber in the rain, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm being so annoyed this morning. I'm sorry. I'm just, I think I'm, I'm so jet lag. <laughs> I'm tired from my trip 
because I'm on West Coast time, so I think to me this is like really early. Well, now it's not, but like when I first woke up, it felt like 6 a.m. So I'm working my way. Anyways, let's go work out. No more complaining. Maybe I'll treat myself to an acai bowl after. And we'll get after it, okay? Lunchtime, a little pliable. I got a green base, which is so delicious. Not everywhere has a green base. It's basically like a green smoothie base with granola, strawberry, pineapple, blueberry, and I added kiwi too. And then coconut flakes and honey. Chef's kiss. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna shower. Okay, I just showered. We're letting our hair air dry a little bit before I start styling it. I'm speaking on a Rare Days panel this Saturday. I'm so excited. Um, it's part of the Be Rare Foundation, and I'm just so pumped. I'm actually doing a whole 20 minute presentation on So You Wanna Start a Podcast, and I'm really excited. I have a whole thing that I wrote out on the plane this weekend of literally every single thing that you need to know when you wanna start a podcast. So I've been promoting it on my stories. I know that you can buy tickets. I wonder if you can watch them after the event on Saturday. I'm pre-recording because I'm not gonna be in LA and, well, it's, it's a live stream. The time that they would want is like Saturday night and I'll have friends here. So I was like, I still wanna be a part of it. So I'm pre-recording. Um, so I'm about to like get ready and do that, which I'm really, really excited about and I'm really proud of it. Um, they said they've never had anyone speak about podcasts. So I was honored that they asked me like Michelle Fawn speaking on it, which I was really honored to like be a part of that. So. Anyways, I did Instacart. I just got my groceries in the mail and I'm trying out some, well, really just one new thing. <laughs> a couple things. Um, and I thought I'd show you guys. So, my friends at Stagecoach kept talking about these cauliflower puffs. So, actually we're just gonna try them right now because I'm a little snacky mood. They said they were amazing. Oh my God. Oh my god, that is so good. It's like a healthy cheese puff. Oh wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. Vegan Rob's cauliflower puffs. You heard it here first. So good. Oh my god. I just got some like random snacks because Delaney's gonna be here this weekend. Keto chips. I haven't bought English muffins in a while, so that would be nice to just like I try to eat like some carbs before I go work out. So I thought English muffin would be like an easy one. I needed more eggs, of course. I'm literally just like sitting doing this. I'm trying out, or I'm not trying out, but I've had the Rouse vodka sauce. I always like to have a little pasta and sauce in my pantry, my pantry, in case I just need a quick meal. The Bonza chickpea pasta is amazing. In specific, this Cavatavi shape, Cavatavi shape, I love so much. I'm closing my computer, it's in the way. I got goldfish, okay, just for me, lady, you know? Um, I finished my other box that I got of these Think Bars. They are so good. Brownie Crunch is my favorite flavor. I literally just have it if I'm feeling a little hungry and it's not like time for lunch or whatever yet. Um, and it really holds me over for a good time, for, for a good time. I'm like just repeating everything I'm saying because I'm dying at the way I'm saying things right now. Love me some bananas, a great snack. Got some avocados to make my egg and avocado breakfast in the morning. Got some more rice, because I love me some rice and beans, which I have right here. Rice and beans, it's one of my favorite quick meals. I'm always here for some quick meals. I got blueberries, because the last time I, last few times I bought blueberries, they've been so delicious. And then I got four of these Synergy kombuchas. My favorite flavor is ginger berry. So I got four of those to stock up the fridge. And then I got this for Delaney. They don't they don't have the mini ones. Sometimes they have the super mini ones um, because she literally can't drink her coffee without this. And I know you're like, okay, she's literally coming to New York and you guys are gonna eat out a lot. I know that we're gonna have a cup of coffee every morning because that's just like our favorite thing to do because we lived together for two years and it was my favorite thing. We played this one playlist, we'd sit on the couch and just vibe and drink our coffee. So. And she's like one of those people just like me, like you wake up and you have coffee. More kombucha. 
and then baby carrots to chase fireball <laughs> and to eat and lastly I got four red delicious apples and that is my little grocery haul I love stocking my fridge up it was very 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 empty oh my gosh those cheese puffs or whatever puffs cauliflower puffs are so good I am obsessed Okay, love my makeup today. I mean, it's nothing different than what I normally do. Actually, I used Meredith Duxbury's line with Morphe, the cream blush, um, blush balm in the color Audacious Apricot, and it's kind of a little bit of a brighter, and I literally just put on my cheekbones, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think what it is, it might be the lips. They just look super, like, glossy. So this is a little combo that I did. I hauled this in my Sephora haul, my one of my last week in my life videos. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the color Honey Beige. Um, very similar to my lip color, so I just semi-overlined a little bit, so it made my lips look a little bigger. And then I used the Dior Lip Glow Oil um, in the color Pink, 001 Pink. But I've heard that there are a ton of dupes of this, and I'm probably not going to repurchase it because I want to try the Clarins one, um, the Clarins Lip Oil, I believe. But for now, I do really like this lip combo, so I thought I'd share with you guys. I'm just about to do my hair. I have to decide what to do with it. I'm like so annoyed with my hair recently. Not the like I love the color and everything, but when it comes when it starts to get warmer out, like I just want my extensions out. I'm just done. So I'm actually going in two weeks to get them out. I just I'm just ready for my hair to have a little break. I just want to like put my hair up a ton. I just want to do the sleek bun, and that's it, honestly. Um, so updates to come on that. So you want to start a podcast. So I think one of the first steps is you need to pick a format of your podcast. Honestly, something we learned when we were traveling or on the go and we started working with our producer that I will tell you about soon, send us, you know, however many ads we have for that week with, you know, bullet points of kind of a general idea of what to say. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day and yeah. All right, just finished filming. It was amazing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I literally edited it and sent it right away. Headed to happy hour with Brooke and our agent Pranav. We're going to Ludlow House. I love him so much. He lives in LA and uh, he's in town for the week. So we're getting drinks with him right now. And then I have dinner tonight with some friends that I ran into that I hadn't seen in forever that we went to high school together. So we like reconnected. So top, pants. Hopefully it won't be too cold. Let's go. So I'm here with Morgan. We're about to go to dinner. But I got this wine in the mail from Wink, and it's clean wine. And Morgan's a bit of a wine connoisseur. And she was like, let's try clean wine. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it tastes like wine. Yeah. It actually tastes a little better. It's like a little fruity. Mm -hmm. It is. It's giving, yeah. This is vegan friendly, mm -hmm. organic grapes, sustainably farmed. Cheers. I just got apple drink. Juice. Yes. Yeah, it kind of, it's a little apple juicy. I like it. It's good. As long as there's alcohol in it, we it, like that, right? There it is. Let's see. And there it is. Yeah. Love that. Just got drinks with my agent. It was really good. Came back here briefly, and then we're about to go to dinner. We are walking to dinner now to meet up with some friends. We're in Tompkins Square Park. Have you ever been here? No. It's nice. It's like this a good little new one. New one. She's over in West Village. She's a West Village girly. We're going to this place called Mokio. I'll let you guys know how it is. I think my mom, like, I think it's going to be my best good friends with yours. Guys, oh my gosh, it's 1 a.m. Brian came over, we watched another episode of We Crashed Dinner. It was so fun tonight. They had these fun little like drinks in a juice pouch. Very cool. It's so late and I'm tired, but I'm so sick of looking at my suitcase and I have a busy day tomorrow. So we're just doing it now. I literally was just like, F it. Like, I'm just unpacking right now. And as soon as it's done, I'm allowing myself to go to bed. So that's how I'm getting myself to unpack because I'm just, it has to happen. I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, the book I started last night, I started 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand. I'm liking it so far. So updates to come. Good morning, everybody. It is 64 degrees outside. I am so excited. It's Thursday. Delaney just landed in New York. I'm so pumped. Like, it's just gonna be an amazing weekend. And Kelly's FaceTiming me. I'm going to work out. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Yay! Hello, darling! Oh my god! Look who's here! So, Delaney got here. We got spray tans. 
so it. That's why we there's like this. yeah we're literally in like baggy clothing right now um we had glow to go come to us delaney got the glow to go experience so excited to see yeah so excited it's still developing um we got express tans so we can wash them off after three hours if we want we're headed to meet kelly she's never met i'm kelly. so excited it's like my friends have to meet so we're just doing a quick little lunch with kelly and then we'll see where the day takes us. We have a big night tonight. R.I.P. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. Got a green juice and some fruit. We have some food coming on the way. Kelly will be right here. <laughs> Yay. We just got back from lunch. Yes, we did. <laughs> Taking off her shoes. <laughs> Wait, you definitely look tan in this camera. <laughs> Our tans are still developing. We're just insecure. Don't know what for. <laughs> Converse are actually the hardest shoes I've ever done. <laughs> Delaney just met Kelly. My world's colliding. She is so great. So great. And now we are about to get ready for a show. The night of nights. The night, the night of, of nights. Night. <laughs> Let's dance. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like it's already pretty long. I'm going to start a weekend in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.